Hello and welcome back to New Boston Vanworks. Today we're going to be talking about cabinet design. All right, so this is Hurley. This is a van I built in 2020, 2021. And I uh, did a lot of cabinetry work in this van, and it was one of the most uh, time-consuming aspects of this build. And I wanted to come up with a way to simplify the cabinet building process and make it easier and quicker. So uh, one of the things that we're going to be, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video is, is how I decided to change up to the design and, and hopefully make it easier and quicker to build. Okay, this is the design of my last van. And as you can see, we had a galley cabinet and a, uh, and a fridge cabinet. This is the electrical cabinet and this is the water cabinet. And uh, this is a real nice design, I really like it. So I took this CAD design and sent it out to a CNC shop. And they basically cut out all the pieces for me and uh, that works out really well. What you get back from the CNC shop is something like this. This is the cut sheets uh, for that design. It ends up uh, coming back like this, pile of, pile of parts. And uh, you need to do some sanding and uh, assembly. This is what uh, the frame looks like once it's squared up and pocket holed together. Um, makes a pretty good frame. And then this will be filled in with the drawers and other panels. This is the nearly fully assembled uh, cabinet right before it goes to the paint process with the uh, refrigerator mounted inside. And this is the installed and finished cabinet. Turns out really nice and uh, works well. The way that I assembled this was to basically measure and reassemble everything, square it up with clamps, and uh, then very carefully pocket hole everything together. And that is a bit of work. So I decided to do something different in this build and uh, do some mortise and tenon joints that would help the assembly process. This is a little test box that I've designed uh, to uh, kind of explore that concept. And as you can see, we have tenons and uh, hidden mortises. So that this will provide a really nice and clean look for the resulting product. On the sides here, I uh, have the tenons go all the way through. Um, and that's just uh, because I'm machining this face, so it makes it a little bit easier. So once this is cut out, it assembles very easily. Basically, everything kind of uh, just clicks right together. And then all the faces square everything up so that the process of pocket holing it all together really goes very smoothly and easily. With the design complete, I uh, went to the CNC machine to cut out the parts and uh, went through a few iterations working through some issues with the joints and such. On the third one, I uh, had a pretty good, uh, pretty good result. So I uh, pulled off the sheet and then just uh, cut out the tabs and we were ready to go. Okay, I've got all the pieces uh, from the CNC job cut out and uh, they're ready to be assembled. So I used mortise and tenon joints um, to make the assembly a lot easier. And I'm going to go through and put in pocket holes in all the appropriate places, uh, and then we'll assemble the box. So here we go. Since I'm mixing uh, mortise and tenon joints with uh, pocket holes, I needed to do a modification to my pocket hole jig. And uh, because of the tenon, needed space for it. So I just drilled that out and uh, with a little Dremel work and made a slot. Now I can fit these in and, uh, you know, spreaders or an entire side and put in the pocket holes very easily um, just as the tenon just drops in. The modified pocket hole jig made it really easy to drill in the pocket holes on the spreaders and the side pieces. Um, you know, of course, keeping in mind that this is just a test cabinet and the actual van cabinets will be much larger. It should all work out really well. All right, now I have the uh, pocket holes drilled into the, uh, n all the necessary spots in the box, and now I'll assemble it. And this is the great part. Um, this should be really easy. So here we go. 
We'll just do a uh, test assembly. The whole point of the mortise and tenon joints is to allow the box to be assembled easily and to get square so that doing the pocket holes is easier and uh, eliminating having to clamp it um, before doing, you know, kind of putting in the pocket holes and being able to achieve a square with their result. So once this is together, it's very tight and square. Um, so now we'll start uh, drilling in the pocket holes. Since the box was already basically assembled through the mortise and tenons, um, I was able to just uh, drill in the pocket hole screws very quickly and easily without using any clamps. And uh, the resulting box was perfectly square. So on the previous cabinets, this was a much more difficult process, which required a lot of clamping and measuring. I included some cutouts for internal fans for the electrical cabinets and uh, exhaust fans just to try it out and get the CNC measurements correct. So these will fit perfect. Made the cutout for the latch as well. And uh, that makes for a nice, easy installation. Tighten it up, and there we go, super nice. And the hinge holes are pre-drilled as well, so it makes installing them very, very easy. And precise. So these are the insets I uh, carve into the side of cabinets to lighten them up. Um, basically, you can take out a lot of volume of wood by going from, you know, the three quarter inch side to a one quarter or one eighth inch side. So this is the inset and this is with a, uh, that's with a point uh, zero zero five offset for clearance and it uh, fits really nice. So uh, you can just glue that right in and uh, be all set. All right, uh, so here's the uh, completed test box uh, with the inset panel in place. Um, basically just a uh, cutout for a fan in the top, that's for the electrical cabinet, uh, exterior vent, that'll be for the side of the electric cabinet, and uh, then the door with hinges and uh, a latch. So uh, this all came together really well. Uh, this is just cheap plywood, I uh, didn't want to waste Baltic birch on a test cabinet, so it'll look a lot smoother with um, Baltic birch in the end, but this proves out kind of all the components I want to get into the cabinets in the van. Um, the mortise and tenon joints work really well. It's very easy to put together with the uh, pocket holes and uh, turned out real nice and sturdy. So on to, uh, on to the other cabinets. All right, so with the completion of the test cabinet, I'm gonna move on to designing uh, the rest of the cabinets for the van in CAD. Uh, I've been inspired by a Murphy bed design that Campo Vans uh, does. I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's a great layout, creates lots of uh, usable space in the van um, with a lot of cargo room as well. So it's a great design. I'm going to implement that in this van. So the next few videos will be the uh, kind of CAD design process. So please uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for stopping by.